who's organised the protest? What we've been told is these people trying to get into Did you grass us up? I don't know. There's animals here. We're here at Morrison Slaughterhouse in Cone, a place in Lancashire. This is, you can see, this is where the animals are going to come in. The livestock, as they call them, are going to be coming through here. Uh, we just went over there and had a little look where they were ripping up the skins of some of the sheep that have come through here, which was actually pretty grim to see. It's all very nasty, all very violent. See everything there. He's coming, yep, follow him around. One of them's dragging across the floor, it's horrible. Horrible. This one's actually owned by Morrison's. Morrison's that has supermarkets. It's pretty off-putting, isn't it, when your supermarket has a massive, look at this, a massive industrial slaughterhouse with a gas chamber inside. There is a gas chamber in here where they kill pigs. Just disgusting. Do you reckon they'll let us know where the gas is? Where's the gas chamber, bro? Where's the gas chamber? Over this side? That side? Well, the reason we're here today is that, well, we've protested the supermarkets themselves, the HQs have protested the RSPCA, we've protested the government, and now we're going to protest where the killing is happening. We're going to try and see the animals on their way in, get some important footage of them in their final moments right before they head into this torture dungeon in here. Security have caught up. They're all out here now. So you don't like work with any of the like hands-on stuff or any of the kill lines or anything like that? No, no, fair enough. Have you seen inside the chamber? That's the reason we're here, by the way. It's the specifically the gas chamber. This guy here with the umbrella, with the pink camera, he actually got into a gas chamber in Pilgrim's Pride in Manchester before it shut down and put secret cameras in to show what's happening to the pigs inside it. That's why it shut down. That's why it's no longer operating because of what you showed. And you've got one here as well. Pigs. Um, it burns them and they scream and thrash around for like 30 seconds, between 30 seconds and three minutes. But even the workers don't even know that, you know, because they don't see it, you can't hear it. They go down, right? I don't know if you know, they go down underground, like kind of low in the gas chamber. So the workers, you might be able to hear the odd scream, but you actually can't hear what's going on down there. You, you, if you did, you'd, you'd be, you know, they'd be going home with PTSD, mate. Can you not share your feelings? Are you allowed? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if he's just unwilling or because the camera's on. Who knows? I know you can't say anything, mate, but I'll just tell you something. You don't need to answer me. So they, these, all these signs, you can go on YouTube and put in UK gas chamber. He just got secret cameras, cameras in gas chambers here. Not this specific place, but a different place in Manchester, but they have one here. They have like a gas chamber for pigs. He put the cameras in and filmed what was happening to those pigs inside. They're screaming, they're in pain, 30 seconds to three minutes. It's horrible. Uh, they get taught, it's torture, it's a torture method. So that's the first time it's ever been seen in the UK. So if you want to know what's going in that, on in there, you can just YouTube it later when you're finished and have a look and then you'll know why we were here. Yeah, come take a look at this. It says CCTV in operation for the purpose of animal welfare, safety and security. Are the CCTVs in operation what? To protect animal welfare? Really? You sure it's not to stop people from exposing the animal abuse? If it were for animal welfare, if the CCTV were genuinely to try and help animals in here, they would just go, hey, here's our CCTV footage of what we do to animals have at it. We'll share all of the footage of the slaughter and the gas chambers and everything, every step of the way. It's publicly available because we're doing nothing wrong and we're all about animal welfare. They know damn right that it's not about animal welfare. It's about getting these animals in and killing them so they can make money. There's animals here. We're gonna try and take a look inside this and get a look at these animals in their final moments, these cows in their final moments before they go in here to get the their heads caved in and their throats slit. Absolutely horrific, these poor, poor animals. These animals have done nothing to no one. These cows here have done nothing to no one. They're completely and utterly innocent and helpless. They're about to go in here, get shot in the head and get their throat slashed open because people like to eat burgers as a steaks. Honestly, it's just absolutely horrifying. Look at this curious, innocent cow. That's horrifying. 
I've done nothing to anyone. It's honestly, it's, it's fucking heartbreaking being here like this. Go ahead, mate. They also put in a big, massive metal gate because uh, they care so much about animal welfare that they don't want us to film through the gate. The animals don't want to be filmed, you see, they're camera shy. So they're, they're like making they sure. Yeah. yeah, this is what they're doing. Yeah, this is it. It's got to be. They kill animals en masse here because they actually care about animals. That's, that's it. That's, why they, that's, that's it. why they kill them. That's the one. For those that are not picking up on the sarcasm, they don't care about animal welfare. They care about us exposing what they do behind those gates, which is why they've put the second gate across, because they don't want us to see it. Are you double fenced because it's finished now? Or like, could I ask? Uh, is no more trucks are coming? Is that why you double, yeah. double fenced it? Yeah, I there's supposed to be three, right? So did we miss the last, did we miss one in the morning or? Yeah, all done. Is it? Yeah, right, mate. Your boy said it's all done now, is that true? No, if there's no more truck. You got one more coming, is yeah, it? Yeah, All right, nice one. I thought, he, I thought he might have been taking the piss, he was. Yeah. All right, nice one. Appreciate the honesty, mate. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, quarter past 10. Nice one, man. Naughty, naughty. You gotta get your story straight, man. There's one coming at quarter past ten. He's pleased, huh? What's up? Can someone say hi? Oh, you alright? You alright? Sorry? What's that? I didn't hear you. Did you say anything? No? Okay. Are you security for these guys? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, are you security for them? Oh, wow. So he must be then. That's funny. So he's basically, I guess, tasked with stopping any one of them from talking to us. Because if they talk to us, they might say something that puts this place in a dodgy position. But all this is for animal welfare reasons, remember guys? It's for the, for the benefit of the animals. Nothing to do with protecting the profits of the animal killers. It's all about protecting animals from the evil vegans who want to learn more about what's going on inside. That, that's, that's what it's... Uh, yeah, yeah these, these lads here were just here, probably like, I don't know, 19, 20, maybe even 18. Imagine what that does to you, working in a place like this, slashing animals' throats, chopping up dead animals for a living. This lad looks like 17, 18 as well. This place employs them, puts them in doing this. What do you think that does to them, eh? Think that makes them more or less violent people? Do you think that makes them more beneficial to society or less beneficial to society? I've seen some shit in here that's pretty fucked up, let me know. And I won't snitch on you. I'll just uh, expose the information. Oh, there's a truck. Let's go. Hey, guys. Hey, hey guys. You all right? Have a sniff. Oh, no. Oi. All right, guys. Have a sniff. Have a sniffy sniff. There you go. Oi. Hello. They're, so, they're like literal babies. They're going to take these little babies in there and they're gonna slit their throats. It's honestly it's just horrifying, disgusting. Look at them. Yeah, they're curious, they're sniffing us, they're coming up. There's a little one here, look. I have no idea what's coming. Look at them. Look how beautiful these animals are. Look how beautiful these animals are. What's that? Them lads that we were just talking to that we couldn't talk to. They all ran back inside real quick after a smoke break. Why? Because that truck came full of little babies. What are they, those lads, what are they about to go do? These lads are about to go in there and slit their throats. Disgusting. It's fucked up that a place slits the throats of babies. It's fucked up that they hire kids to slit the throats of babies. It's all fucked. The whole oh, thing's yeah. fucked. Uh, yeah, no, it is. Horrendous. Horrendous. They're, they're so many roads. Harmless. The reason they slaughter these animals and control these animals is 
because they're honourable and gentle and can't defend themselves. He's here. Sorry. Those lovely, innocent, curious cows that just left all of this. Look at this, look at the camera. See all that? I see these lovely, curious cows that covered, our, covered my camera in spit. They're like little kids, little babies, like putting stuff in their mouths and, and seeing what things taste like. And they're big, big, heavy ass babies. And they actually are babies. They're very young, you know? You know, they're, they're all headed in there and they're all gonna be brutally killed. Every single one of them is going to be brutally killed within the next couple hours. Can you realize that these animals are curious? Can you not realize that these are individuals, little people, there's little people in there, the same curiosity as a little baby has with the same, you know, interest as a little baby has? So have you come to help the pigs that are being tortured inside the CO2 gas chambers? Uh, who's organized slaughter? I'd just like to speak to them. Yeah, I, I, I'll talk to you. What we've been told is these people trying to get into the compound. No, that's not true. No, I mean, we've turned up here. Uh, and you've, this, this to be fair, you've all just been stood here. You're more than welcome to protest, as long as it's peaceful. Yeah? We're, just, we're, yeah, we're stay basically, on the side of the road. We, we've got a legal right to yeah, protest. Yeah, absolutely. And, I'm not disputing yeah. that. I protest all you want, uh, but please don't be oiling any of the workers. Are you filming us? Uh, yeah, this. Why haven't body, you told us that you're filming us? Yeah. Body yes, you do. You're supposed to. T yes, you right. Do. It's part of your policy. Right. You shouldn't be filming people without without right. them knowing. That's, that's true. Are you filming me? It doesn't matter. You're you're a, you're a public servant. Right. right. To. If, By all means, protest. But please, it needs to remain us peaceful. Us to walk across the road. We're, right. Let's hang on. Leave. It's a legal assembly. Right. Are you going to be? You're here wasting for... your time. We're just about to leave. Oh yeah. Your grass is up. Your grass is up. You said we were trying to get in. You he, he said we were trying to get in there. He said we were trying to break in. That someone's reported us trying to break in. You do. Not, we weren't not, not, doing that, were we? I mean, you know, we, we can yeah. agree on that. If we do break in, it's entertaining. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, obviously. But, I mean, we weren't. We've just watched the trailer for Picker Run. Yeah. Oh, really? Cool, yeah, nice one. Nice one. You can get a little bit more of it. The trailer shows some stuff, but if you put in UK Pig Gas Chamber, you can get, like, a big chunk of the movie there as well. It's just like the footage that he got from inside one of these places that's in the movie as well. A couple of years ago, watching one about the fishing industry. Sea Spiracy? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's good. Do you like it, yeah? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this is similar to that, actually. It's actually really similar to that. It's just about pigs instead of fish. And they focus on the, uh, you know, there's a gas chamber in here. That's what he's focusing on. That's how they kill pigs. They put them in a gas chamber. Because there's a few people that have worked here that have worked there before. Right, right. People. Not many people. So what they do is like the gas chamber, it goes down underground, right? So not many people see it. They just put the pigs in and then it closes and they don't see what happens. So people who... Hitler got away with it. Hmm? Hitler got away with it. He did, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's mad, isn't it? So they go down into the gas and then he put secret cameras in one of them, which is what you'll see in this movie, filmed them. And the gas, it, it makes acid in their eyes and their lungs. So they scream about 30 seconds like just screaming for 30 seconds straight and then eventually they die. And so basically like, but the people who work here probably don't even know that, That's right? Like I said, they put them in. Well, they do for cows, they do yeah. that for, for sheep. They bolt them and then they slit the throats right after because the bolt just knocks them out, doesn't kill them. See, that's but more better. Better than gas, some would say, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all pretty violent. It's all pretty violent, isn't it? Meat eaters. Meat eaters? Yeah. Honestly, mate, this is, people think vegans are against meat eaters, honestly. We have more in common with you than you have with the people that own that place, right? We're against the people who own that place for doing this to animals and tricking people like you into thinking well, you need to eat meat. Is the best way to actually get meat onto the shelf? Best way to get meat onto the shelf? Well, well, what? We, well, you got to start. It, well, it could, it could. So they you got to. Properly, they couldn't do it in enough quantity. He's got a point, right? If they if they did it like in a better way, which I don't think there is a better way when we don't need it. But if they were going to do it in a better way, they wouldn't be able to do it fast enough, and it wouldn't be cheap enough, right? So why do people eat meat? Protein. Why do people think you need meat for protein? Because they pay a lot of money to make people believe that with advertising and like fake, or, you know, false studies and things like that. You can get protein from plants. 
So we're not against you, we're against the people who are pushing out all this propaganda to trick oh, people like you into thinking you need protein. A lion? Lions are carnivores, they're like obligate carnivores, right? Obligate carnivore? You can be so you can be you can be just as healthy as you are now without meat. But lions will die. They need it. So that's a bit that's a shit, right? Can't really do much about that, but we can do something about you know, we can talk to each other and we can we can change that. So yeah, short answer is no, we're not against meat eaters. Long answer is we're against those people. Because, like I said, we have more in common with each other than millionaires, right? Yeah, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> you guys ain't millionaires, right? We're all like, we're all in the same boat, except I'm vegan, you're not. <laughs> That's our Polish protester. Yeah. <laughs> what he said earlier, I don't, he shouted something about the crops, right? Didn't he? He was saying oh, like, oh, like more animals. Are... Thing, like, it? How many right, animals right. And how much thing damage you do to grow this and right. all over the place. But the thing it. is, right, the most crops in the world are grown to feed animals because they, they, they eat crops. So if people have problem with uh, crop deaths, like animals dying in crop fields, you stop eating animals then. Because then you're taking all those crops, you're killing all those animals for the crops, so you take those crops, feed the animals, and you kill those animals too. Double homicide. Double homicide, exactly. So if, if he's got a real problem with that, he'd be he'd be a vegan. All good? Yeah, we're having a chat. They've watched, they've watched the uh, trailer. trailer. Oh, did you go to the, did you scan the QR code? I just Googled it. See what they're hiding from you. They don't really see what goes on the chamber. No one in there does. So you have to stick cameras in there. Yeah. yeah. You check it out. Well, the big boss don't know what goes on. Well, they would have seen the, the footage. Yeah. And they would be mm. aware who I am, probably. Maybe. They know, mm. they'll probably keep an eye on activists. Mm. They're there making money, they don't give a shit about that. What do you think about <laughs> Bill Gates' ideology to get us eating more insects and making synthetic lab grown meat and all that sort him? of stuff? We don't, we don't agree with no. him. No, we don't do insects. No, 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 no. no. That's stu we stupid. We eat plant based no. meat, it's made of bloody just plants. Yeah. I've had corn stuff before in the past, it doesn't actually taste too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's some pretty good stuff. With the lab meat stuff, I mean, right. Look if, at the it, ingredients, it's about 50 ingredients for a pretend burger. Right, but you get that, if, look, if you, if you take a piece of meat, right, and you look actually, take the chemicals in it, you get another list of ingredients. Yeah, right? Everything's made of, all sorts of crap. Also, but everything's made of chemicals. An apple is made of chemicals, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Down. Yeah, exactly, but that's what they so do so when they- put the ingredients on the back of like, yeah. 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 burger. Yeah, so with these memes, you know, the memes where it's like vegan burger, and it's all this, and then yeah. it's like meat, meat. Yeah. It's like, no mate, break down meat to what's in it and there's tons of chemicals the same as the, the you know what I mean? It's just I mean, a silly, it's a silly meme, yeah. But with the lab meat, it's like, right, look, if you've got the option of what happens in here with all the blood, the guts and the violence, or you've got an option to have the exact same thing without the blood, the guts and the violence, and it, it came from a clean lab, it's like, I understand why people are a bit scared of it because it's kind of like Bill Gates is attached to it and shit like that, but he's not attached to all of it. There are other companies that are doing it and I don't know, mate. I feel like if we get to a point where it's cheap enough and it's exactly the same and it's just a clean lab versus that, I don't see why anyone would choose that, right? That is like, that's horrendous. Yeah, and also animals yeah. and the yeah. chickens are bloody... Exactly, yeah. Seen them. Modified. I've seen them on a the table, like the injected chicken, it grows 50%. And then well, they're like selectively grow, bred. These grow, animals grow, are bloody... Yeah. Like KFC chickens and stuff. Yeah. That's oh, grim, mate. We can't keep up. It's grim, mate. We've been in these farms, you know, we've seen what happens to them. Their legs get all buckled and shit. They can't walk or anything yeah, anymore. They grow People are happy to eat that. Just full of growth hormones. Like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, horrible. Ingredients in a bloody Beyond Burger. Yeah. <laughs> like protein. That's gonna fucking kill you, man. They're like, fucked up chicken shit from KFC. No worries, man. No, that's natural. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Enjoy the film. Thanks yeah. for chat chatting with yeah, us. Yeah, the trailer looks decent, Appreciate man. it. I'll be going down into the gas. We're gonna get caught.